Hey YouTube, I finally did it. Setting up my first reef tank here. Stay tuned and I'll show you what it's all about. Alright YouTube, Brian coming back at you here with another video. Um, as you can see, I've got myself my first ever saltwater tank. It's going to be a reef tank. Um, I've got the BioCube 29 by uh, Coralife, and so far I'm really liking it. I picked up the stand that comes, or the, the stand that's made for it that you can buy with it. And right now it is on day 16 of a cycle. I'm doing a fishless cycle. And uh, what I'm using to help with that is two chemicals. For the first eight days, I use Seachem Stability as per the directions. And for the full cycle, until it's cycled, I'm using Dr. Tim's Aquatics um, Ammonium Chloride. I'm adding um, ammonium chloride per day as needed. Um, any time that the ammonia level drops below 0.5 so um, that's kind of what I'm doing as far as that goes hopefully this thing will be cycled within 21 days um, I'm following the exact same steps that um, my good buddy Scott Cyber Aquarius used when he set up his reef tank about a year and a half ago um, he's been helping me tremendously uh, throughout the whole process helping me pick the right equipment pick the right uh, just everything so it, most of you guys know who he is already, but if you're not familiar with Cyber Aquarius, make sure you check out his YouTube channel. I'll try to remember to post a link below. Alright, so I thought I would take you through um, everything that I've uh, purchased and, and all the parts and pieces to the reef tank. Uh, let's just start with the um, substrate and the rocks. Um, I've chosen to go with the Key Largo rocks. From uh, purchased them from Marco Rocks. They are not live rocks, they're dry rock, and I chose to do that so that I didn't have to worry about any unwanted uh, pests or anything coming in with the rock. I'll introduce everything myself to this environment. And then for the sand, I use the Tropic Eden um, Tonga Reef Flakes and Mini Reef Flakes. I use a 50-50 uh, combo, stirred them together, mixed them together, and uh, it's, it's doing real well. What I thought I'd talk about next is the equipment that I'm using within the tank. Um, we'll just go through and, and take a look at everything here. I've chosen the Tunes. Um, 9004 skimmer. This is not in place yet because you don't need to use the skimmer while you are cycling the tank. I've heard great things about this. It fits perfectly within the back sump area of the BioCube. Um, it's been highly recommended from a few different people. So I went ahead and used this. I've heard great things about it and I'm looking forward to seeing how it works. Um, as far as uh, water movement, I chose the uh, the MP10 by Vortec. Excuse me, not by Vortec, Ecotech Marine. It's the MP10 Vortec. Um, I think I've literally found the last one available on the internet. Sorry, you just heard my dryer buzzing there. Um, these are discontinued, but are a really good pump, and uh, we're at a really good price as they were as all the different vendors were getting rid of them. They've since gone to another one that's got wireless capabilities. And then there's another one that's not wireless that is kind of supposed to be quieter, but honestly, I don't know how you can get any quieter than this. Um, it's installed in the tank. I don't hear a thing. Um, it's uh, a magnetic attachment. Here is the unit uh, to control everything. Right now I've got it set on lagoon mode and uh, um, haven't really messed around yet with all the different settings, but um, yeah, you can see it uh, creates quite a bit of agitation as well as my sump return, both of them together. If you can see that back there. But yeah, great unit. Also does come with a sponge that you can put over uh, the interior, but I chose not to do that. Okay, so the next piece of equipment I'm going to talk about is my auto top-off system. I chose the uh, JBJ auto top-off unit. 
And then I've got two Tom's aqua lifters used to um, bring the water from the reservoir up to the tank. What I've chosen is a five gallon tank as my water reservoir. This has got just RO water in it. And then as you can see, one of the Tom's aqua lifters is there. The hose goes down into the tank and then goes up to the next aqua lifter, which goes through that back hole. But as you can see, the auto top off unit is right here. I've got the uh, adapter so that both Tom's aqua lifters can plug into the bottom of it. That way when, it's, when it tells the pumps to go, both of them go at the same time. I'll take you up here. And this is the sensor. It's got a float. It detects the water level. When the water level is too low, it kicks on the pump. I'll go ahead and raise it up right now so you can see how it works. And as you can see, water start, the pumps activate and water starts coming out right here. Pretty sweet. Uh, I want this reef to be as low maintenance as possible. So keeping the water topped off automatically is just one way to do that. All right, the next piece of equipment is the heater. I chose the Cobalt Aquatics uh, Neotherm 100 watt. Nice thing about it is it's real streamlined and it fits perfectly in this chamber of the sump back here so that I can see it through the window. Uh, it's moved a little bit, but you get the idea. See, there's the heater right there. I've heard great things about it. The uh, slim design and durability is something that's going to work out real well and it fits back in the sump so that everything is um, out of the tank. A couple other things I wanted to talk about are um, the media and whatnot. Um, I've chosen two eShop sponges, uh, sump sponges. They are not in right now because the tank's cycling, but they will fit into um, the chambers in the back sump. I've taken out everything that came with it as far as all the media and that type of stuff. I'll show you right here. It's all in the bucket. All the bio balls that came with it, sponges and everything. Everything I've decided not to use any of the stock items. For the cycle, well not just for the cycle, but for my media, what I'm using is Pond Matrix. I've got it here in a fruit bag. Um, and uh, that's going to give me great biological filtration and I won't have to worry about anything else. So basically in the back there what you're going to see when everything's set up is sponges, the skimmer, and the bag of, uh, of pond matrix. And then I'll also have um, some carbon or some uh, Chemi Pure Blue in there as well. And then I'll have some uh, Foss Guard in there as well in media bags. So it all should fit perfectly into this uh, back sump and nothing equipment wise, you won't see anything in the tank other than the MP10. And then the final piece of equipment that we'll talk about is the lighting. Right now the stock lighting is in. Those will be coming out soon. I've decided to go with the Steve's LED upgrade. And that is in this box right here. I'm not gonna take it out right now, but basically what it is is it's an LED upgrade that's gonna allow me to grow any type of coral, LPS, SPS, softies, the whole works. That combined with the MP10 is gonna allow that. So that's why I decided to go with the upgrade. It's going to give me uh, better lighting and there's a controller with it as well that I've uh, opted to upgrade to so that um, I can have, a, have everything ramp up and ramp back down as the day goes on. So that's going to be sweet too. Um, that's the scariest part of this whole build to me um, because I do have to do it myself. I'm not a great do-it-yourselfer, but sounds like it's pretty easy. Um, to take out the old light and the new light fits perfectly. It's custom made for the BioCube. Steve's LED, check them out if you're ever looking to do an upgrade for your BioCube. Other than that, there's not much else to go over. Um, I'm going to keep you guys updated as I install things. As I, uh, I'll try to do a video on the uh, light upgrade. And 
And when I um, finally add uh, corals and fish, I'll keep you guys upgraded or updated. But I uh, just wanted to do a uh, kind of a an intro video here to what I'm doing as far as this goes. Show you guys the equipment. Show you guys my setup. Again, this is going to be a very low maintenance reef once everything's up and running. Um, and I followed basically in the almost exact footsteps of uh, Scott uh, Cyber Aquarius what he did with his um, innovative Marine Nouveau uh, 30 gallon. Um, so um, I'm looking for very good results. As you know, his looks awesome. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure you subscribe uh, to all the members of Team Aquatic Support. The links to their YouTube channels will be below. Also, Scott's channel will be listed below. Make sure you go over to Aquatic Support Community on Facebook, get involved there. Um, if you guys follow that, you probably already would have known um, that uh, this is uh, up and going for me. I've had a few pictures uh, up there. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Take care.